All right, hello everybody, it's good to see you again. We're gonna call this a uh, okay moment. If you don't know, my name is Otto Keebler, so there's your okay. Um, number of announcements this week. The first thing I wanna say is Romans 8, 28. All things work together for those who are called according to his purpose. Um, don't lose sight of the fact that God is in control. And I know there's a lot of crazy things happening all over, but we are still excited. We are still planning school. Uh, we are planning on having school on campus, and that's still a go. Uh, we're coordinated, or maybe it's coincidental, but uh, we're going to start at the same time that the elementary school is starting. And uh, that day for the freshmen and the new students for a fish camp is, uh, let me go to my notes, August 11th. And um, uh, we're not positive what the activity is. We have a couple different ones planned. COVID will help determine a little bit of that, but we're excited about what we do have going on. On August 12th, that'll be the first full day of school. So all the students will come on that day. Uh, registration, so we have nailed registration down. It's going to be July 29 and 30th. That is a Wednesday and a Thursday. And what we're going to do is it's going to be by appointment only. So we're going to have seniors, um, Wednesday morning and then juniors Wednesday afternoon and sophomores Thursday morning and freshmen Thursday afternoon now the way that you get your appointment time is you are going to register online and Google and that is going to happen on next week which is Wednesday July the 22nd so we're giving everybody one week to know that it's going to happen so next Wednesday July 22nd you're going to get a text and our, you're going to get an announcement in our uh, news clip that we're doing right now. And both of those will have a link to where you can get and pick your time slot. Huh. Now the lights might go out while we're doing this video. So I don't know if we get a blackout here and I should quit. But the lights went out in the middle of all this. So I'm going to keep going even though Jonathan walked away. Uh, there you go. They're back on again. So let's see how this plays out. Um, we are going to... Uh, uh, obviously have some COVID uh, protocol for the school. TEA and the governor are dictating some of this. Now this changes every week, right? If you asked me a month ago, you know, well, we'll have masks, but we have to wear them all the time. Probably not. Now things have changed a lot. So here's some things we do know um, that it looks like we're going to do. And that is um, we are taking your temperatures at the door. If you have a temperature of 100, then we will use a thermometer and if you still have the temperature, then we're going to be calling your parents up or calling you up and back you go. Um, we have disinfectants and wipe at the doors of every classroom. So when you go into the classroom, you'll use a disinfectant. You'll take a wipe to your desk and wipe that area off. Um, we'll also have um, a mask requirement. We're not exactly what that's going to be yet because we don't know what TEA and what the governor are going to dictate at this point. Um, I want to share something that the board had asked me what I was excited about. You know, what, tell me something you're excited about. Well, there's a lot of things. I'm excited about students the most. Let me make that clear. I, I, I love working with teenagers. Okay, it's, it's, it's just a privilege and a pleasure to do that. But when the board asked me, I said that, and I said, you really want to know, I've been working at public school, and I love public school. There's a lot of good things about it. But I've been doing it for the last 10 years, and the most exciting thing that I am going to be able to do with you all from now on is to sit down and pray. I can pray before we have board meeting. I can pray before we have a staff meeting. I can come into your classroom and we can talk about how your mother is sick or your brother's not doing well. And I can say, you know what? Why don't we all just say a prayer right here? I, you have no idea when, you know, I've been Adventist all my life, but for that to be taken away for 10 years and all of a sudden realize that I'm getting that back, I realized when it was taken away how much I missed it. I realized how much I need it. And that is a huge, huge difference and privilege that we're gonna to get to do here. And I plan on taking advantage of it. Now that I said that, I'm asking you to pray. Um, God answers prayer, God hears prayer. And so all of you pray for the school, pray for what's going on in, in the whole COVID mess, but at the same time, pray for what's going on in, in the pandemic of sin. I mean, all of it, but you know, God's there to help and he does want us to ask him and it makes a difference if we do. I can't do this without your prayers. I guarantee you that I'm praying and asking again that you'll do that. Um, the last thing I'm gonna say is that we exist for, and I'm talking to the students now, so I don't care if the parents listen anymore, but I'm here for you. We exist for you. The purpose of the school is to teach and educate you. 
And we want to educate you in a way that when you walk away, that you will be, um, you will have a desire to serve Christ and to lead and go where he wants you to be, where he wants you to go. And uh, if you ever want to contact me, you can, I publish my phone number to everybody. So you can call me, you can text me at three in the morning. I'm not going to answer it, but you can text it and I'll, I'll get back with you later on. But uh, I want you to feel free that you can contact me. You don't have to necessarily have your parents call me. And I am more than willing to meet you, to talk to you. I've already had some of you calling me and I've had a great time. I've already visited with some of you here and met you. So I'm enjoying that. Um, I even like it better as I get to know you better. So I'm really looking forward to all this. And I uh, don't want you to feel shy about, uh, or, or think twice about calling me to ask for whatever reason. I'm here to help you. Uh, last thing I want to do is, and if you don't guess it, you should, and that is say a prayer. So if you all don't mind, let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, um, I want to ask for your wisdom. There's so many crazy things going on right now, but to you, it, it's all good and you understand what to do. Uh, we want to ask for your love, Lord, more than anything else. I want to ask that your spirit be in every single student that, uh, that's going to be coming here to Chisholm Trail Academy and with their parents and with their families, also with the teachers, the staff, and with me. May we all be known, Lord, um, as Christians. May, stick, may people look at this school again when they drive by and say those people are so loving, they're so kind, and it's because God is in that school. And that's my prayer in Jesus' name, amen.